Wow, well. I just killed the conversation. Anyway, yeah. let's go ahead. Um, so, um, what's the unification stone here? Um, un- well, let's take you deeper into the into the inner sanctum, and you can tell us where you can, if you found it, if you can find it or not, because we don't know. Unfortunately, we did not have any hearing readings of a unification stone. Sadly enough. Oh, it's very important. Yeah. What's Tell me the, more about the the this the unification stone. Um. Well, is ask a, about dot 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 unification stone. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the five sacred stones that will be brought into this world. Um. Once we have them all, we'll be able to channel Animus in fully, and then you, he will have the power to annihilate have, all others. Have I? Did we run into anything <laughs> that looked like that? Like some kind of magic stone? No, you've not seen anything. Exactly like what it is. All right. Wasn't the there a stone on we found once upon a time in the uh, that one place? In we found the... an elemental transport stone okay, to like a plane of fire stone. All right. Yeah, that was once upon a time. Oh, if only we could convince him that like the stone that transports to the plane of fire is actually like a religious stone. We probably can. Addy, if you wish to uh, make that bluff? Uh, not yet. Let's see if there's actually a unification stone here. Because okay. if not, then... How many do they have, actually? Said five, I, I asked said... him that question. How many stones do we currently have? Um, that I know of, none. Um, but they... it's possible that other Alamus worshipping realms within the yes. Shattered Worlds have them. As as we start bringing being brought together, um, we will be able to get the stones, you know, mm-hmm. perform the ritual. So, so all the I... stones have to be in the same place. It's not enough that all five are in the hands of other worshippers of Alamus. No, no, they need to be. Unfortunately, they need to be in the same place. Although the power of the stone should mean that once one is found, and we can conduct a ritual to draw the other parts of the realm together. <coughs> so the more right. stones we have the quicker we'll find the others. So it's possible if we notice a change in direction, that means that it's drawing us towards a group of other Alamus worshippers who've found a stone. Yes. Mm. That is something worth making a note on. (laughs) I actually got some plot out. It feels so good. Uh, So we're going to get out of our pay grade pretty fast on this shit then. We're Avengers. We don't get paid. Out of our out of our power level. There you go. I'm not sure we have the capacity to take on an entire world coming together of Alamus followers. That's why we do it things stealthily. Yeah, that's what that's what my plan is for to subvert part of it, set it against itself. I think the only way we're doing that is is getting rid of every priest that's in an area so we can substitute our own religion or get invested in the inquisition what are the other four sacred stones hmm? oh they're all of the same type um, right so are they all stones of unification yeah they're all stones of unification can you we have not really you know tossed this we haven't really explored this place all that thoroughly can you is there any do you believe that any of them are here, sir? Uh, I'd have to find, perform the ritual of finding. But, you know, if they are here, then they may well be hidden. The guardians would have known how important they are. Uh, they would have left them on display in the center of a room. Uh, they wouldn't have been that stupid. Um, I'm sure. The ritual is not an easy one to perform. It has certain costs. <coughs> Costs. Unfortunately, yes. Uh, blood magic is not an easy work. Uh, how many cc's of blood do you need? Uh, a whole person's worth, unfortunately. Hmm. Um, <laughs> at this point, I want to check. How, is this guy alone? How many guards did he bring with him? There's five priests and five guards. Okay. Oh, perfect. How many priests were there total in their priesthood? Uh, you saw at least a hundred. Whew. Yeah. 
And this guy is the head honcho, or uh, he's not the head honcho, but he's been, he's been sent across to take over and start. He's going to be the head one for this um, temple. Can I roll a perception check to see how many of their gods are actually paladins of Alamus? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, is how everyone seeing the note, by the way? Yeah. 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 All right. So I got a sixteen to eye the guards up and down. Yeah, they all seem... They're not exactly paladins, but they're all very competent guards. We haven't right, just so sent across border guardsmen. These guys look like they uh, know what they're doing. Do they possess any magic abilities that we can sense? Um, the priests do. Um, right. I'm but presuming, guards, like, divine or... Yeah. Right, so they're not... Or if they're not exactly paladins, um, they're, they can't channel... Divine magic, as far as we know. Yeah, then they're, they're not. They're, these guys are just the. Uh, they they left the paladins at home. Yeah, the elite soldiers, basically. Yeah. Yeah, they they left their they, they left they don't need they, unless until they 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 mark us as heretics they'll leave the templars at home. There. Yeah, so these guys are obviously just your basic group. Um, well, the problem is when these guys these guys end up vanishing. What next? Well, I have an idea. Can we actually, you know, I'm looking to do this right of uh, priesthood. Could we combine the two? What do you mean combine the two? You know, have me sacrifice a guy for the ritual. Well, since yeah. we. Yeah. Well, since, you know, we have a little bit to fame the religiousness of this temple, we could always also combine this with the resanctification of this temple in the name of Alamus, right? Yes, that would be a, a very good idea. All right, well, you, you mentioned you had some uh, some sacrifice stock back in your temple, so... I mean, you could go and get one and do whatever preparations you need, and we can meet back here in, I don't know, two, three days? Yes, that seems like plenty of time to reorganize the, um, the structure. Ritual. You don't know how hard it is to not, to not drop into the Igor accent. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I was actually going Unless you want to, to kill you. Burke and just bring back Igor. <laughs> I almost want. I I, I kind of want to have you know. What would you have him be then? A scion of a, a paladin, Igor the paladin. A level zero minion, <laughs> but with infinite charges. So every week there'd be a new Igor, <laughs> and Gray get to kill each one in new and interesting ways. <laughs> I mean, we we we've we've lost trust for a while, so we could always bring back. We could, I can always take the place of the of the GM's kill toy. I've not managed to kill trust yet. I got close. <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah, you've killed me more than trust. <laughs> yeah. I haven't killed killed anybody. Even in Rogue Trader, I haven't managed to kill kill anybody. <laughs> Well, you're the GM. You want to challenge your players, not murder them outright. I don't know. Have you seen the latest Rogue Trader? <laughs> Still working through the backlog. Yeah, we're at okay. the final space battle, so... Oh, uh, with, Zer with Zerzin? Yeah. Nice. All right. So, um, after, after this guy goes on his way, I'm going to say, okay, so we have... We have two days to rig this temple up with as much pyrotechnics as you can manage to fake a miracle. Well, we also need... Well, the thing is that since you're not doing this in the capital, you need to somehow rig an audience as well. They'll bring an audience, I'm sure. Hmm, maybe. Well, this is better. I don't... Ha we don't have to... If things go south, we don't have to fight a hundred priests, just, just, a few, just a handful. Well, we can. Well, since this temple already had its own synchronous undulants, we can actually use that to, as a benefit right now, to make things look spectacular. 
There we go. Now, I have to ask, did anyone ever get a good look, look-see on what the, the symbol accents, of Alamis looks Okay, all right. What's the symbol of Alamis looks like? <laughs> because we could, because we could set up some of our the, the sacred undulants to be burned in the symbol of Alamis that would surround you and the priest as you strike him down as a Don't unbeliever. Don't take action. Hmm? Yeah. Um, <laughs> try. Yeah, I, I still have. I still have my tapestry cloak with the symbol on it, so... So, if you're going to keep doing it, we're going to insist it's Burke's accent for the rest of your time you're playing Burke. I could do that. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) Right, back back to plotting. (laughs) So, like I said, you guys rig up some pyrotechnics and maybe uh, some time-delayed divine spells or flash powder or whatever you can do to make this real fancy and then we'll fake a miracle. Well, I've... What, okay, so this is going to be dungeoneering rolls and I need to... Um, does anyone remember what the symbol of Alamus looks like? Definitely have actually seen it. I've not made one up, so... Oh, yeah, we do because it's on... Isn't it on the cloak that Igna's yeah. wearing? Yeah, that, that yeah. Annie's wearing. Yeah, we have yeah. it. We just... Yeah, like, I've never made one up for it, so... And okay. now don't you feel yeah. silly. Well, sorry. <laughs> it could just be a tear it could just be a blood tear drop with an eye in the middle of it. Pretty sure that's been used for something else, isn't it? Probably. I'll I'll come up with a symbol for next week. I'll try and remember to anyway. Well, any okay, let's let's start rolling those okay, do we still have okay, did we did we, did we save the sacred undulance? Or the of gasoline? Course. Yep, you got plenty of that still around. All right, so I'm going to be work. So I'm going to be working up a a thing where every where, um, that where they're going to. I need to figure out where they're going to stand when they do the whole ritual thing. So we're going to need to, and then I'm going to build it up so that at so that um it flares up around Addy and the priest so that um. That, that it forms the the uh, the flames form this uh, the eye sign of Alamus when Addy's striking the priest down, and put some you know bitching pyrotechnics um colored smoke and pyrotechnics in the background and everything. So engineering for that. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I can think of. Can I get yep. a bonus if I use the accent, or do I get a penalty? Well, I don't think the the accent's going to do anything but diplomatic penalties. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, 25. Yeah, you should be able to rig something up that go boom. Okay, um, uh, Yigmir, you want to add anything to this? Yigmir? You went AFK. Uh. Yeah, ah. he did. Healer went AFK. No, he didn't say yeah. Oh, he is also a healer guy. Oh, yeah, I suppose. All right. Mm. Well, the thing is that we also need the proper signature, too, of, you know, elements. So we need to have enough residual religious backdrop to, to you know, drop the base behind. And we also need to make sure if Alamus makes any, you know, actual representation in the area that he does not end up possessing Addy at all. Because that kind of thing can happen when it comes to rituals. Um, are there any animals that are when we look up with Alamus that he, that they had around the place, or other than dragons? Uh, no, not really. So their main deal was feeding and raising these drakes for some kind of purpose for Alamus. Yeah. All right. Maybe Alamus is like a teenager and he thinks drakes are awesome right now, so they wants he wants his people to start raising drakes. It's like, you know, when you build that gambling town in SimCity. I don't know. Could you, could you put, like, a costume on your toad? Put, like, <laughs> some fake teeth in it? I don't know if we could make my toad look like a dragon or drake. That'd be pretty great. I, could sh- I mean, yes. I could shapeshift into any natural creature, um, and I could actually just go attack some. I could just go attack the priest. Um, yeah. Well, we don't know if Alamus... I don't actually, know if there's anything natural. Is there like a wait, fire drake or, or anything? We, have like the, we, had the cliff, we had the Cliff Notes book of Alamus, didn't we, once upon a time? Yeah. 
and we did the copying out of that. So let's just research and see if we can pick up anything about Alamos from that. For if there's any Hazraldric, uh, is there anything animals. I should ch- could shape change into that would be an implement or or symbol of Alamos? Any natural creature? Right. To our notes. Note, note. Um, what would that know. be? Religion. Yeah, religion. I got a nine. I don't know much about that religion stuff. And mm-hmm. neither does my one. druid Part friend. The, um, the I, and Burke, will, Burke will consult the notes that he, they took down that book. Fourteen? Uh, <laughs> Alright. Let me try. I got a plus six to that. Same row. Fourteen? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to roll plot advancement. <laughs> ah, plus advancement to that curse. No, you don't know of any th- any animals associated in or any basic heraldry. It's mainly his symbol and you know the whole sacrifice he's dealing, which the priests are playing down quite heavily. Like, is there magic flame based mainly, or ice, or what is it? Um, tends to be more electrical, like storms. Hey, that's right up my alley. Yeah, you could probably do some zappy shit. <laughs> I have Thunder Armor and Lightning Sphere. Well, if we rig up a proper uh, couple of light uh, or what's, what are electrical um, balls, we can pa- use them. We can power them up to make a good strobe effect, like you know those lightning balls with um, sphere things. Tesla, Tesla I mean, there's balls. things that I can Yeah, Tesla things, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tesla coil. Hey, hey, Greg, can I make a Tesla coil? I'm pretty sure you don't have the way of generating electricity without magic, so no. Well, no, because I have thundering armor as a... Um, yeah, and the shockwave, armor, the shockwave armor can be used as a battery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, or I can use my thundering armor spell, which is an at will, to just shove thunder electricity into it. So basically, we're going to have we're going to basically put this on a pole, and have it you know give it the proper electric electrical backdrop as we have the bitching fire thing that sparks the uh, fire, um, you know, symbol of Alamis that they're going to be in the middle of. So you want lightning crackling, um, fire burning. It's we're gonna have earth wind fire shit here, yeah. Yeah. It's Your main trick here is gonna be setting it off without being seen to set it off. Well we can well then we're gonna have to do some excavation. Or we we could just hang up some banners. Mm. Alright. Well, I need to set this up. Okay, but we need to we need to figure out. Well, I'm going to say they're probably going to do it in this nice little secondary area over here. I'm guessing, right? Like up here, are they going to? I mean, we have to know where they're going to actually going to start the whole sacrifice uh, around under. this um, monolith up here. Hmm. Well, we do have some raised areas and so forth. So let's yeah. see if I can channel my inner roadie. <laughs> that bit there, basically. Oh. Hmm. So we're gonna have to somehow fi- set this off. I'll be seeing to set it off. So let's see. Let's see if I can rig something easily. <laughs> Thievery was the thing. Well, yeah, you, you have to make, get to do th- do things and make things look so stealthily. Yeah. Well, like traps and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> set up a pressure plate system. That like causes a spark, some spark, or just starts the uh, lightning generator. Yeah. Um, is there a pla- any place we can actually add a crawl space, or like, <laughs> hey, can I dungeoneer up a crawl space or something like that for? Uh, it take a lot of work. Cause you'd have to take up all these flagstones. Ah, true. Well, let's not work. Worry about that. Three days is probably pushing it for crawl spaces. Hmm. Yeah. But we do have an artificer. 
Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. They haven't seen back here. So is any way I can set up a fake wall, say, around right over here and here? You know, just ex make that thing expand out a little bit and so they can Pretty have... Sure uh, remember the throne. Well, that's a it's throne. It's raised I'm high enough that you can see it from the door. But I'm talking about back over here, back, you know... Well, like I said, just put up some banners or tapestries and you can hide whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're supposed to hang them off, so. True. We could. Hmm. Get a working We have the four other monoliths in the room. Could you guys rig some of this statuary to like fall over, like when shit starts going down, and like we could like hook That's some easy. Water? Hook some wires up, like like set me back there with some wires, and I'll turn into a bear and like yank a bunch of shit down. Man, that's easy like, to do. Mm hmm. That'd be dungeoneering, I think. Yeah. All right. Let me see what I can do. Oh, you want wires? You got wires. Twenty to do this. Yeah, that should be enough to fix them up. You know what? I really need to be trained in dungeoneering. I mean, I'm trained in healing, but I haven't really had to patch anyone back together yet. Why are you trained in heal? So I can stitch you back together and make you we all have, better. We have a talk about this. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to time you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I thought if I was gonna be talking about heal, I could speak of the elective surgery. But all right, go ahead. Okay. So. Okay. Ugh. And we need to set up some Tesla coils. Well, we only have really one coil because we only have one set of armor and one, you know, thing we can actually get to get the whole lightning off, shoot off of. So you have to have one very big backdrop one, I mean. Yeah. Hey, Gray. Yeah. Well, Actually, does, can anyone do illusion magic? No. Illusionists can. <sighs> Knew we needed an illusionist. Because if yeah. we could do an illusion... We could take this monolith out and replace it with the Tesla coil so it's right in the center and make it look like a monolith again with lightning shooting out of it. Well, how much do you need for a Tesla coil? You could probably just wrap it in some wires. Yeah. But we have to hide the wires. Why? It's electricity shooting out of it. They're not going to think electrical generator. They're going to think miracle. This is we, only have, we don't really have that many ways of generating electricity, though. We only really have, me. like, besides him and one suit of armor, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, but like I said, this whole this whole thing is going to be based around the idea that, on, that only their god can create stuff like this. I didn't see actually, any hey, artificers when I, when I was over there. I don't <coughs> think they have any, given their theocracy. Actually, wait. Gray, could I use the time that we're doing this to set up my lightning sphere power so like several encounters worth of it would go off at once to not damage anyone to put on a really awesome light show basically well here's a question can you make like wands? a tesla you're an artificer because it's possible for you to, to to use any of your uh, artificial ability to make wands and set them up i could probably make wands You would have to check your your your, your rituals and like that, or figure out where yeah. you can actually make a wand. Yeah, hold on. I mean, we have the. I've got the books. Hold on, I just open up the right book. There's a lot of books. Well, I guess we can figure this out off screen, right? We don't want to spoil everything. <laughs> Someone. So You've got, you've basically rigged and start drawing wires running like that, I assume. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. Or you 
you're running them into the pools. Huh? I tried to Okay. Do... Well, we also have like the simp part right here, and then we're going to have the blood teardrop of, you know, what do you call it? If that's the symbol of Alamus, depending on what the symbol of Alamus is, I mean, it could just be an onk like this, you know. But we guys need to know what the symbol of Alamus is, so we can actually start, you know, making the making it out in the uh, undulance. Well, yeah. our characters know what it is, but we don't. Yeah. I know, I know. Yes. But we'll just we'll just say it covers us, um, an area of space for now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it'll be if you're gonna put it on the floor, we'll say it covers the space in that grey box. So, could could I set up several encounters worth of lightning spheres on each of the five monoliths in this room to have the four on the outside go off and the one in the center go off afterward, like shortly afterwards or something? All of it, like stock up. That or stock them up or something to do that. And then have them activate on command. Not sure. And I don't think that there are rules for that. No. You're, we're basically <laughs> trying to run a pyrotechnic display, aren't you? Basically. Of lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure you can charge it. It's kind of. I think you'd have to use your arm at once at the time. That would be the best you can do. I was going to erase that. <laughs> Alamos was her. <laughs> yep. Um, or you could actually just run the the wires and then hang banners from them so they're not conspicuous. Yeah. And then light them up, you know, when the time is right and when everyone's distracted by the giant, you know, ball of flame that came up. That's a pretty good idea too. Yep, so just So, like, just have, like, a banner across here. So he's just going to try to shield off one bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to roll the diplomacy with our, with the, uh, sp with our spa, you know, clientele for, you know, for the, for the time of being, that, that, you know, why the spa is closed. I mean, we did see, we did sell season, we did sell season passes, I mean... And so forth. Yeah. I mean, the people who actually paid the extra gold up front. But yeah, as long as you, I think they can take a, you know, up to you know, short break. So that, yeah, if you lose it completely, you're probably in, gonna have some trouble. Although I don't think you have a big clientele anyway. Most people are still too freaked out by you. <laughs> Wait, Burke does not pull the accent near the clientele. I'm sorry. The client the, that 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 accent was Miss Helium <laughs> falling back to old habits and old ways. People think things kind of like does that to him. Well, do you remember your performance at the trial? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, they're still afraid of you. <laughs> About it. It's not the accent, it's the psychopath. Yeah, lives in there. <laughs> we are in a very violent, you know, you know, you lived a 30 society. I thought Burger <coughs> kind of was, was very normal. Besides, no. the, besides the blatant plans of cannibalism. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the cannibalism most people remember. Anyway, so you've got your <laughs> wires lined up. Um, you, Funny how little things like that. 
in people's minds. I know, yeah, yeah. you think people will stop the, forget the cannibalism and use of ghouls in warfare. You eat one corpse and all of a sudden you're a cannibal. Yep. Oh well. Yeah. I think we're going to put Igmir back here. It's their fault for being so tasty. <laughs> Lightning. Don't get me like any. Don't get me started on like goblins and stuff. Oh God! I'm gonna need to create an electromagnet. I know how to do it. But does your character know how to do it? He's an artificer who deals with electricity. Sure. I'm pretty sure the fact that he's a warforged means he's running on electromagnets. You're running on the power of, of magic at the moment, and magic is like magic bullshit. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to need a bunch of wires. I'm going to need to build a power source. I need some acid. You can make acid. Yes, I can. I'm also going to need... Um, some metal. Different types of metal. I'll donate some of my daggers. Well, no, I'm uh, specifically I'm gonna need like some aluminum and some copper. Ideally. Yeah, we'll just pop off to the corner shop and get you some aluminum. You, you won't be able to find any. Um, You'll find plenty of aluminium, but no aluminium. No worry, <laughs> I can go and consult my workshop. Um, Bert, my workshop. Get me some aluminium. I well, know I you know where to mine it. You, you can use the iron, it's just less effective. Yeah. yeah. We can see we can refine well, the iron. This is going to be a big enough battery that it's not going to matter how big it is, how effective it is. Yeah. Well, plus you have the shockwave armor to use as, as part of the battery, so... Yeah. I've got a lot of stuff to use. This is going to be one hell of a performance check. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> but we can all botch it, and we be, you know we can just start the Holy War now. Well... Now, here's the thing. What is the... I don't. The fact is that the Duke is going to shit himself a litter of puppies when he finds out what's going to go down here. Who's going to tell him? I mean, when he finds out after what happened here. <laughs> hey, Duke, we murdered the entire clergy of Alamus. Like, no, we started a civil war in a rival kingdom. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Duke is the Duke is just like just 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 looking through his libraries uh, and like at, at looking for that book of adventurers how to get rid of <laughs> a beginner's <laughs> better, a beginner's the guide, guide to ruling. getting rid of adventurers <laughs> a beginner's guide to ruling basically <laughs> send them like like first chapter one sending them on long pointless quests. It's like, well, I can't do that. We don't have enough. We just, I can't send them away far enough. Chapter two, imprisonment. It's like, no, that. no, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. So, any so, more plotting you need to do? I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Okay. Second, while I set myself up, I know I have officially shrugged out the accent. My throat is not trying to convert itself into Transylvanian wannabe. <laughs> so I take it you no longer have any idea what we're up to. What, me? Yeah. Vaguely. Okay, so we got the electric show, we got the flames, and we got the pillars being knocked over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now we need to somehow acquire the choir, the 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 angelic, you know, ha -he, ha -ha, choir in the background. We'll just say trust is doing that. Good. Trust is your backing music for this. Yep. Take take your spot behind the curtain. 
Take your spot behind the curtain and be prepare to be an entire chorus. Does Trust have that DOS loot or no? Um, I don't know. I haven't done Magic Item still. I completely forgot. I'm a terrible, terrible GM. Yeah. Well, just keep in mind I have a plus two weapon when I go to stab this guy. Right, we'll move ahead to the um, kind of arrival and God, uh, yeah, the start of this. You're sounding tired. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we can leave us. We can leave the 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 crescendo till next week. Might be better. To be honest, I say yeah. I had a private well. I've been on holiday, so of course that means I'm more wiped out. Give everybody time to prepare their speeches. Yes. Yep. And basically I can do a few modifications to this. Mm -hmm. Get it working a bit more like I was planning. I think it's good to have a short session to see where the players are headed. Yeah. And, uh, I think rather than us make you come up with something on the spot based on our insane plan. I think it's good that Gray hasn't asked me why I won an electromagnet yet. Yes, because it's not going to work. Oh. Well, the, you can make electricity. The problem is storing it. You need uh -huh. zinc and stuff like that to actually make batteries to begin storing charge. And, and then we you haven't... need to develop capacitors. And then you're basically – aluminum is around like 1825. Capacitors are going to be like 1910. So we're kind of – at that point – Your main problem is, is making aluminum is – yeah, that's high-tech yeah. level stuff. You need uh, yeah. two thousand degrees. And since you're like you're an artificer, doesn't mean you automatically know the entire you know book of chemistry. Yeah, you can learn it as you level up, but I don't think you can roll the DC that high just yet. Yeah. Actually, I think aluminium requires electricity. Is yeah. the best way to make it. Yep. Yeah, but um, yeah. So if you can make enough electricity, you can make aluminum, but that might take us a while. Yeah. Yeah. See, your main All plan right. to make electricity is needing aluminum. Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. so from now on, and there's an embargo against me ever using yeah. another accent again. No, no, not another accent. Other accents are fine. You're not allowed to use that accent. <laughs> that one's specific. Although Maybe That's we'll decide on an accent by accent basis. Yeah. Yeah. We'll conditionally approve new accents, but that doesn't mean that we re don't reserve the right to veto one. All right. <laughs> well, I had to get Transylvania off the tongue. We'll, see if I can we'll form an accent seven. council with equal voting rights. <laughs> we are a it's democratic a party. <laughs> All right. I think it's about what we're going to get done for this week, so I'm going to end the recording. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Right. Oh, I might as well give you some XP for that. Yeah. Um, really? Yeah, well, you avoided one one combat encounter, so you've done some good diplomacy. How, I have to ask, uh, how, much, trap. how close did Berg come to actually causing everybody to freak the fuck out? Oh, very. I, I was just going to start attacking you if you carried the accents on for much longer. <laughs> 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 it's just like, yeah, the guard is annoyed and stabs you. Gain 250 XP each. Except <laughs> Berg, who gets 2 XP. Uh, they, don't, they never met me before, so they don't... Wait, how much XP did you say? 250 each. Okay, I thought you said I got less. less. Yeah, I said you what get that, 2. What does that put us at? Because I missed the last session, I think. Uh, or 264. Four. Alright, so we're gonna getting close to getting more powerful. Yeah. 736 off next level. Oh, well. I think by level five, we'll be ready to completely take over the priesthood of Alamus and, <laughs> all, and entire cities of people. It if we can, well, if we can probably take over and become the Inquisition of Alamus, which will, you know, be able to be used to slowly and surely weed out the actual priesthood of Alamus until Alamus starts actually. I'm, I'm just reserving the fact that we may actually be playing in Alamus's hands and become the priesthood of Alamus and the worship of Alamus. That is actually the goal. Yes, but you know, you know how gods are. They'll just really, sh you know. You I know, feel like my god would tell me to not do that. But I don't know. I don't really know how to beat an entire city of people. So, and also the fact that 
Burke. Some gods somehow don't like Burke. Are well, you, you really surprised? You demanded to speak to the manager. <laughs> I think the eighteen got someone's attention, and the or the twenty got somebody's attention. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop the recording now. All right. So, see you all later. See you. Mm-hmm.